Welcome to the Happy Energy Guide to Percent of Measure Installed and Percent of Property Treated, now known as POMI and POPT. With the DEEM scores, you don't take the full DEEM score and apply it if you haven't insulated the entire property. So you need to adjust it by the percent of property treated to reduce the score. The example in front of you at the moment is a very simple boxy house, little three bed semi. The chances are if you were to insulate all the cavity walls in this and all of the loft, you would claim 100% of the POMI and 100% of the popped. In this example, we have a flat roof and a pitch roof on the same property. So here is when we need to start making adjustments and doing the calculations for the POMI and popped. I'll give you an example on the next page. So here's a very uh, roughly drawn uh, floor plan. So we've got 25 square meters of pitched roof area on the first floor and a small flat roof extension on the rear which is five square meters. So in total we have 25 square meters of pitched plus five square meters of flat. So we have 30 square meters of roof area in total. If we're just insulating the pitch roof then we need to divide 25 by 30 and that gives us 83.3 percent. Now with popped we have to round it to the nearest 10 percent so that means we claim 80 percent. So put simply we take the DEEM score for the three bed semi house in this case with an oil boiler so it's an oil heated house and we multiply it by 80 percent and that's how much we claim from the DEEM score. If we were insulating the flat roof, it would be the other way around. So we would take the flat roof deemed score for the three bed semi or heated house and we'd say we're doing five of the 30 square meters. So that's five divided by 30, 16.6% rounded to the nearest 10%. So we would claim 20% of the flat roof score for the three bed semi. If we were insulating the cavity walls in this drawing, uh, we're saying there's a hundred square meters of cavity and the rear extension is solid wall and that's 20 square meters so we have a total wall area of 120 square meters if we're insulating just the cavity then we're going to insulate 100 of the 120 square meters so the total there is 83.3 percent again same as above rounded down to 80 percent but in fact we've insulated all of the cavity so we've insulated 100 percent of the pommy because that's the measure we're installing and 80% of the property because there's still some additional wall area we haven't treated. Again, round the other way, if we were insulating the solid walls, so we'd be insulating 20 of the 120 square meters, that gives us again 16.6%, which rounded to the nearest 10% is 20%. So we take the solid wall insulation score for the three bed semi and we multiply it by 20%. In this instance, you can see at the top, we have an electric storage heater in the rear area of the house and an oil boiler in the rest of the house. So if this was a hecro measure and we were doing heating works, we would be looking at something like 55 square meters of total floor area. So that's the first and the second floor plus the single story extension on the bottom. If we were leaving the storage heater in the rear area and the rest was gonna be changed and upgraded to another oil boiler, then in theory the boiler is only covering 50 of the 55 square meters. So for a heating team score we would take 50 divided by 55 which gives us 90.9 percent rounded to the nearest 10 percent is 90 percent. So if we were replacing the oil boiler we'd only be claiming 90 percent of the score. Hopefully you're keeping up. Here's another example of a, an extension on the back of the property. In this instance we've actually got pitch roof so in the previous example we had two different types of roof but these are both pitched so if you only insulate the main property and not the property on the rear the extension then you're not actually installing a hundred percent of the pommy because there's still some uh, pitched roof left to insulate so you'd need to make the adjustment there so you'd have a reduced pommy and a reduced popped however if you did both it would be a hundred percent for both here's another example if you were insulating the cavities on this property, you'd need to insulate the cavities of the entire back extension as well. If you didn't do that, or if it was already done, then you'd need to add all that wall area in and deduct it uh, from the percent of measure and the percent of property. So here's a bit of an example of a, a floor plan, so of a property a bit like before. So if this 
property at the back, if this were insulated already, then you'd need to add up all of the external wall area for both the upstairs and the downstairs. That would be your total floor area. You would then divide in the amount of area that you'd insulated, and obviously you're not insulating this area, so you would deduct that from the percent of property treated and the percent of measure installed. Now if that rear extension was solid, then you could still potentially be claiming 100% of the POMI, even though you're not claiming 100% of the POPT. This is a nice simple example, so you've got a small extension on the side. If you were doing the cavities, as long as you filled the cavities on that, you'd be fine, you could claim 100% of the POMI and the POPT. But if you were insulating the roof, you'd need to deduct this flat roof area from the main area of the, of the roof. This is an example of a cavity property where you'd be having to deduct these areas. So if we look here, we have solid bays. So you'd need to deduct those from the percent of property treated. Now because they're solid, they're not part of the cavity. So in, in effect, you could be doing 100% of the cavity still, but you would need to deduct those areas. Assuming that the garage here is completely separated and you insulate the walls in between, that's fine, you can claim it. If it's single story, uh, beg your pardon, if it's single skin between the garage and the house and you don't insulate it, then you will need to deduct that. Uh, interesting to note, this property has a room in roof, so if you are insulating the cavity and you're including the insulation in this section up here, then you are able to claim a percentage of a room in roof measure as well, because that part of the cavity is room in roof, as we've known from the uh, past issues with room and roof, and it's not part of the cavity. So you can claim an additional part of the score there. This property is tile hung at the top, so the chances are if you were doing the cavities, you wouldn't be able to insulate the top half. So you'd need to add in all of these areas and deduct the whole area from the top. This is a bit of an unusual one. So this is a conservatory. Because the roof is glass, um, you'd actually ignore it for the roof insulation measure because it can't be insulated but the walls look like they probably could be insulated, so you would typically include those in. If it was just a small dwarf wall or a plastic wall or something that just couldn't be insulated, then you'd ignore it, um, but you would still need to take into account the wall on the inside of the conservatory. Here's another conservatory example. If the conservatory is completely separated from the property, so it has double glazed doors in between the two, then you can pretty much ignore the conservatory, um, but you would be expected to insulate the walls in between the conservatory and the house. So here's an example of the conservatory. So this one is completely separated. So as long as you insulate these walls in here, you're okay. Now, if those walls weren't there, so if the conservatory was completely open to the house, you would need to deduct the area around here, this area, from the wall area. Uh, so you would have a reduced percent of property treated. Integral garages uh, need to be treated quite carefully. Um, it's unlikely that the garage is heated, so what you're looking for is to have a look at the external area. You're looking for the complete heat loss wall area. Um, potentially inside this garage here, uh, you have a single skin and you have the cavity on the outside. So in effect, this is an unheated, it's sheltered, but it's an unheated garage. So you are going to be having heat loss through here. So if you don't insulate the walls inside the garage with some kind of treatment, then you would need to add them and deduct them from the overall percent of property treated. And we have some floor plans here to give you an example. So these areas here at the bottom appear to be single skin. So if you don't insulate them, you'll need to deduct them from the percent of property treated. Uh, potentially you're still doing 100% of the property uh, or the measure, the POMI, because they're solid walls. Um, so you either ignore them or you treat them uh, and, and don't claim them. Uh, and that's it. This is the uh, next lesson, advanced uh, loft, pommy and popped. Um, hope you followed that. Any questions, please post them on the website.